the for most of the doctors and in most of the institute the doctors are treating the patient as with the as per their own experience so there is a limitation of a clinician in delivering the health care to the patient because it is based on his own uh, we may not say limited understanding but his own understanding when there are not many perspectives which are evidence based attached there but this the up to date toolkit which is a clinical decision support system would play a role there to equip that clinician uh, with a lot of opinions from the stalwarts in the respective fields globally so that's how it would assist the doctors in making uh, appropriate uh, decisions while treating the patients uh, one thing is that when we treat a patient we apart from just prescribing certain medications patients are generally not happy the the days are gone by when the doctors would treat and uh, the patients used to consider the doctors as gods they expect doctors to educate them well and uh, preferably a written information about their disease uh, about the differential diagnosis about the various treatment approaches and where the treat where the patient is also participating in making the clinical decisions which a doctor is taking for treating the patient so here the uh, as per our experience goes the up to date has certain features where it can generate the uh, information in very layman term which the patient can very easily understand about the disease uh, and what are the various treatment approaches apart from that the there are certain key aspects which are listed in the up to date uh, logs which you have seen where they give some health tips to the patient they make the patient aware about his own disease better and in fact they equip the patient themselves to have a compliance with the prescription provided by the doctor so so doctor need not worry about writing those health tips uh, they are already designed the sheets are ready and i think uh, what i liked is that it is available in many languages so that makes the job of a doctor very very easy so there are a few these are the few benefits which i felt into the upgrade now uh, i just happened to read one study uh, which was done by the harvard university where uh, it mentions that every year in india there are around 5.2 million injuries which are occurring that's just due to medical errors and the medical errors are happening because doctors are still treating the patient in a very older way of making the decision based on whatever they have or two decade ago so there are a lot of resistance happening a lot of innovative things are coming up and if we are not up to date with the system then we tend to treat the way we are treating before and which is not bringing the optimal treatment approach the doctor can actually provide to the patient now for a doctor when he has to be up to date and ensure that he is giving the best treatment available uh, which is evidence based for that the one option is that the doctors goes on referring various articles which are published so that when a particular doctor has published article uh, right from writing the paper to its publication it has a cycle of somewhere around 3 to 6 months so the information which is currently uh, or the current information which will take some time to get actually published and then the copy uh, uh, can be read but the good feature in the up to date is that the uh, information is immediately available and it gets immediately published so there's an added advantage if we integrate that then i think the doctor can save a lot of time we will not go on various journals there are a lot of journals which are very costly and uh, the access is also limited and we cannot just go on uh, purchasing so many journals so one of the feature is that the up to date it also provides the recent information quickly available on the platform and the, this integrated approach is very good uh, for many reasons one is that the updated clinical information is available so once we go to that particular article uh, we get to know okay these are the better treatment uh, opportunities which we have to treat our patient at the same time the, it also mentions the various grades of levels the various grades of uh, 
uh, the evidences which created by the up to date uh, in consultation with the global leaders which are on the panel so that helps the clinic to make the decision okay is a grade 1 uh, level evidence is a grade 2 level evidence grade 3 level evidence so considering the current uh, case of a patient considering the seriousness of the disease the doctor would able to then take a, a very calculated risk we can say and uh, accordingly would able to prescribe the patient so this integration of up to date in one's uh, clinic or in one's institute could really equip doctor to make the uh, clinical decisions in a very better way in the interest of the patient so as i was just mentioning the apart from the the help the up to date provides to the doctor it has uh, which helps the patients also and uh, we need not even get prints of those uh, small uh, leaflets which are prepared by the up to date it's a beautifully there are links we can just and who is uh, based on serving the patients in a very devoted mode and would like to serve in, even in the community so when you go to the community uh, it's not a one to one patient treatment there are thousands of patient to be treated in a day and we have no doctors so in that the individual one patient to patient guideline may not be uh, that beneficial but the guidelines which can actually educate the entire society of the which are suffering from that particular disorder would be more handy so that feature is also available uh, on the upload which is very handy and very useful in even mass treating or even uh, have camps and treating the patient in the community based camps the medical science is going to evolve only when we do a lot of clinical studies we do a lot of clinical trials and we have formal studies and then we generate evidence on the basis of the evidence Uh, there is a formal comparison uh, amongst the various treatment approaches, and then we publish. That's how the procedure is. Uh, but in up to date, what is happening is that the a lot of clinical studies uh, are getting evaluated by the experts, and uh, then they are writing those papers. So this is, I would say, that is a database, is a formal database, which is comparing the treatments before and after. so uh, it's almost like the um, proper clinical studies are done and the information is posted uh, on the up to date so i think that's where the up to date is already moving and that's where up to date should move so that it gives more confidence to the clinicians uh, for its ut utility in uh, in the patient's interest